Okay, C. Lindelof videos, quotients of complex numbers. Uh, as a as a rule, we're not supposed to have i, the imaginary i, in the denominator of a complex number. So here we have this function looking like this, uh, this number looking like this. So what they're asking us to do is clean it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to rationalize this. By rationalize it, what I'm saying is we're going to find a way to get this i out of the denominator. It can be in the numerator, but not in the denominator. So the way that you actually do that is you multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So you can see that this is 9, right? This is 9 plus 2i. So its conjugate would be, the conjugate of this would be 9 minus 2i. And the reason that's really helpful is because it gives us a difference of squares. And the, I'll show you what that does. So I'm going to multiply by this conjugate in the form of 1. So it's going to be 9 minus 2i over 9 minus 2i. Really important that these are the same at the top and the bottom because any number over itself, of course, is 1. So now I'm just going to do my multiplication. And when I do my multiplication straight up, sorry, straight across here, I just get that thing back, I right? I get 9 minus 2i, right? When I multiply the bottom out, when I, right, when I do FOIL here, sorry, when I do my FOIL here, it looks like this, and I don't usually do it up, but let me just do this out really quick. Then I get 9 plus 2i times 9 minus 2i, right? And I get 9 times 9, sorry, 81 minus 18i plus 18i, right? And at the very end, I get minus 4 I squared, right? So all this stuff goes to junk, doesn't it? it? Leaves me with this, leaves me with this 81 here. But what I know, see, I have this negative 4, so I have this negative 4 here. And I know, because I've memorized these rules, that I squared is equal to negative 1. So negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4, right? Which gives me this. 81 plus 4 is 85. So if you see now, this value right here, this number right here, is equivalent to this number right here. But I've rationalized the denominator, right? I've gotten this i out of there. In the exercise, we're actually asked to break this out a little bit more because we want to make this as a and b as real numbers. So I get 9 over 85, right? Minus 2 over 85, and I just put the i on the end on the outside there. Because right, if I multiply this two times this i, it comes right back in there. Okay, that's all I wanted to do is give you one chance to take a look at this. I'm trying to answer a lot of questions that I've been getting lately. If this doesn't exactly answer the question that you had, can you please just um, DM me back or leave a comment and say, Lindelof, this is what I was trying to get. All right? Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Peace.